Me disculpan. A new law proposed by the ruling Nicaraguan party could be used as another powerful tool against free speech in the country, says the opposition and several international organizations. It establishes a punishment of two to four years in prison for anyone who spreads what it calls false information online. The worry is that it could simply be used to censor any reporting the autocratic government doesn't like. So in practice, this is giving the government the sort of legal capacity to determine what information is true and what's false. And in a country where independent media are already facing a lot of censorship and intimidation at the hands of the government, this could be really dangerous for the journalists working for those outlets. Another proposed law would force non-governmental organizations which get money from outside the country to register as foreign agents and agree not to interfere in internal affairs. It comes after many NGOs have already been closed down and some have had their offices ransacked. Braulio Abarca is just one of the human rights defenders who's had to flee to neighboring Costa Rica. He says the new law marks a fresh danger. NGOs will have to declare their activities every month and also register the names, ages and contact details of those taking part. They'll also have to reveal donors. Observers say there's a political element to this too, and that the government wants to crack down on NGOs that help fund the Nicaraguan opposition. President Daniel Ortega has been clamping down on dissent for the last couple of years. He all but banned marches after widespread protests against him in 2018. Since then, anyone who's dared to take to the streets has faced harassment, arrest and attacks by police and paramilitaries. And things have only worsened under COVID. Critics accuse the government of trying to muddy the facts while painting a rosy picture of the virus's progress. The COVID situation gave us two problems. The first is the harassment and persecution, the lack of access to public information that we already had. But on top of that, the risk of reporting on the health situation, because they started charging journalists with defamation for informing about positive COVID cases in the country. Nicaragua's first lady, Rosario Murillo, is also the government's official spokesperson. She didn't agree to our interview request. Meanwhile, the countdown continues to elections in 2021. The opposition says there's even less hope now that they'll be in any way free and fair. John Holman, Al Jazeera.